Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another YouTube. Someone's text me. Someone's really text me. As you guys have seen from the title today, I am filming a collective haul of all of the lovely bits and bobs that I managed to pick up whilst I was in the States. Um, I know that a lot's going on right now and I'm just trying to give you guys a bit of normality on my channel and kind of resume with the regular content as a little bit of an escape. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that and like that and it will give you a little bit of a break um, for your brain for a little bit. So, as you guys know, I did go to the States and I managed to collect quite a lot of things um which i'm really excited to share with you they're from all different stores i'm going to do my absolute best to link everything i can below however a lot of this stuff unfortunately is from outlet stores or might be older stock so i'm going to give it my best shot um and if i can i'll try and link something similar that maybe you guys will like i will also drop a link to this top because i have not stopped wearing this i feel like it's a really nice spring piece and it's super comfortable as well um but i just really really love it and i think it's a really nice bright color which i need right now i need some bright colors in my life so um yes i am very excited to get into all of the stuff that i purchased if you guys are not already subscribed to this channel then what are you doing please get on there hit subscribe turn the bell on if you want to be notified when i upload i'd also love it if you could check me out on instagram my name is georgia May underscore xoxo i don't know what this was i think it's because i've been spending way too much time on tiktok so i'll actually drop a link to my tiktok below yeah isolation is hit is hit a point i've joined tiktok don't ask but i've got so many goodies i'm so excited to get into them and show you guys the bits that i picked up so i'm going to insert some try on clips in this video and that's how i'm going to go about it so i obviously have tried all this stuff when i know how it fits but instead of me trying on and talking about it because i've already bought it i'm just going to pop in the clip like on the side or while I'm talking. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I did go to PacSun, which is an outlet store. Well, I don't know if it is specifically an outlet store. It's in the outlet center in Orlando. And um, they have two PacSuns, one at the Violent Outlets, one at the Premium Outlets, because there's two sets of outlets in Orlando. Um, and they did a deal on the men's oversized t-shirts. They were like, buy one, get one free or something. And they also had a discount off them. I cannot remember all the exact prices, but I did get them for a lot less than they were originally. I'm going to start out with the first top that I got. This is going to be so love it or hate it for so many of you. And I get it. I do get it. In the States, I feel like my style was just so different to what it normally is. It was really like big boxy oversized tees and a lot of my like trainers and socks and just easy and comfortable which i'm just i'm here for the comfort right now i think we all are so this is an adidas or adidas um top uh it's basically a men's like kind of polo style top so it obviously has the green adidas logo across the front it has um this collar and like button detail just really really loved this i managed to grab this in a large and it is cute as like a little it's not big enough to wear on its own i pop on some cycling shorts underneath this but this with some like little socks and trainers it's just so easy you could don a denim jacket if you wanted a pair of sunnies i have really been into this kind of like trend i don't even know if it is a trend but just wearing like boys tops um and making them look kind of a little bit more girly but yeah they're just comfortable slouchy you can't really go wrong so that was one of the first t-shirts that i got and then also in that little deal i got this t-shirt and i think i've already posted a photo of me in this on my instagram account so it's actually a champion top but like i said i got it in the pack sun store i got this in a size xl and this is like the perfect size because it's just super boxy on me and i love this kind of fit because the shoulders kind of go like off the arm i just really like that fit in like a boys t-shirt so obviously has the champion kind of lettering it's a red super boxy it has no shape to it but how nice is this to wear when you want to go out for a really big meal or you just are a little bit bloated or you just want to be comfortable i was loving this with a pair of cycle shorts which i'm going to show you in a minute um i just really really liked this and this is something that i also found in pack sun pack sun is one of those stores you kind of have to like rifle through but when you find some good bits trust me you'll be very happy about it so then we also went to a champion outlet they had some incredible deals here and i managed to get two oversized kind of boxy jumpers that i wore whilst i was out there 
and um, these I managed to get for 30% off the price of each one like their full price and then I got employees discount because the guy was really nice and he gave me employee discount not sure if that's allowed but he was really nice so I'm not complaining that's what I have here is this quite like it's a lot thinner than the other one I got this in a 2xl again I adore this I wore this whilst I was out there obviously has the champion writing on it and then it goes down into like a boxy oversized jumper it's so slouchy comfortable it's white I know it's so impractical, but it's my all-time favourite, like, hoodie colour. I just completely love this. It's super soft on the inside. has a really nice neckline. I know how much I'm going to wear this. Such a staple in my wardrobe, and I love Champion um, bits and bobs. They're just quite expensive. They're very expensive in Urban Outfitters. So to go to the outlet store and find so much of this stuff was really lovely. I then grabbed this men's. They're both men's, because I just prefer that kind of fit. Um, I would be that girl, well I am that girl whenever I was in relationships to steal people's clothing, I'm really sorry. I was just that person, I just love a boy's jumper. So this is another one, I really love the neckline of this one, it's a little bit higher up. Again I got it in a 2XL and it's a lot more structured, so it's thicker and heavier. I would say the white one is more of like a summer kind of piece or like spring piece where you can throw it on and it's not really hot whereas this is definitely more of like a heavier sort of fabric i love this again it has the little champion logo there i just really like this black simple goes with everything in my wardrobe you can wear this with joggers leggings you name it you can wear it and yeah i really do love these i always come back to like my classic champion gray um oversized jumper which all of you guys asked me about again it's from the outlets i got it a year and a half ago now no, a year ago, sorry, I got it a year ago, um, and I always get them from the outlet because they're just so much cheaper while I'm in America, and I always wear them, like I wear them so much, it's not something that I buy and don't wear. I did get some underwear, I got this from a mix of pink Victoria's Secret, I got this from Victoria's Secret in the mall, Mall of, Millen mall of Millennia, and also there is a Victoria's Secret outlet, which I do really love, but you have to kind of search through. It's also really good if you're more of a, like a bra size that maybe isn't like that common um so i'm a 34c i feel like that's quite a common bra size they never have any bras I'm, I'm always really lucky if i find one whereas if you're maybe a smaller size or a larger size they tend to have more of a range i did grab this little bra i absolutely love this so like i said this is in my size and it's just gorgeous so it's a nude bra but the lace detailing kind of goes over the top which i think is really pretty nude is so practical because you can wear it under literally everything but it's still really like oh with the lace do you kind of know what i mean it's still like cute really really loved this when i saw it the style of this bra as a reference is called the lined plunge this isn't my favorite style that victoria's secret do but i still think it's a really really nice bra and i got it for such a good deal i believe i got it for like 16 dollars. then for underwear i'm just going to whiz through this quickly because it's kind of boring i do get kind of like a range of styles so i've got some here from pink some here from victoria's secret I haven't worn any of these but thought i would just share them with you so this is like a new style that pink are doing at the moment i think it's really really pretty has more of a cover at the back more coverage at the back than you would normally think and then it sits kind of high-waisted i really enjoy this style then i have just like your classic thongs from victoria's secret but what i really like about these is the lace band across the top i think they're really pretty most of these are in black again these are from pink how pretty is the little band with this lemon colored one oh how pretty this is just a regular thong from Pink. This is one of my favourite styles again. It's that kind of like light cream material. So soft and comfortable. But my favourite is like a classic cotton black thong. Love these. These are from Victoria's Secret. I love the cut of them. They sit really nice and high-waisted. These kind of pink lacy ones. Guys, I went a little bit wild on the underwear front, but give me some credit. I like to kind of change my underwear out quite a lot. I don't know. I just... Yeah, I like to kind of change my underwear out a lot. I feel like obviously you're wearing it every single day and washing it 24-7. So it kind of always seems to get a little bit, I don't know, old looking. Am I the only one? I don't change a lot out of my life, but underwear I seem to change out quite regularly. The last pair that I got I thought I'd share with you. These are from Pink. They're called their Boxer Briefs, I believe they're called. Firstly, I just thought these would be amazing to wear to bed with a big t-shirt. Because they're almost like a, like a little short, but like a tiny little short, like a really big knicker. So I'm really into these. Um, yeah, just thought I'd show you those big ones if you're interested. A couple more bits and bobs I actually got from Pack Sun. This again was that kind of two t-shirt deal. So the first one that I got is this Chaps um, quality 
brand um, 1978 large white big t-shirt this isn't super big so I wouldn't wear this as a t-shirt dress but in the summer with some like high-waisted denim shorts that's kind of how I wore it when I was out there or you could do like some high-waisted jeans with it so when we are able to leave our houses or like in the future hopefully this would be really really lovely um to wear with the little logo on i just really liked that and i thought it was really simple then it is totally inspired from the one and only sarah ashcroft i'm a big sarah ashcroft fan i got a bit of a girl crush on her and i just really was into this so this is kind of like a grand tour sport um kind of racing car type Tea. it's really boxy this shape black again really nice and oversized not long enough to be a dress but really cute to wear with like some denim shorts some black denim shorts this will look really cool with and if you wanted to do like a cowboy boot or like a trainer whatever your kind of vibe is really got into my cowboy boots at the moment guys i know i don't know who i think i am okay so then i just wanted to share with you guys really quickly a girl who makes these ears i got asked a lot about where me and mish got our ears from and i thought i would just tell you about the girl that made both sets of these so i'm gonna link the girl that made these ones below um i know that my friend nina knows the girl that made these the reason why i don't know her name is because i believe she spoke to misha i didn't speak directly with her so i will link her instagram the girl that made those ones but then we also have hannah marie magic who made these ones she's made the ones that i've also worn before in paris and they are so gorgeous i just want to wear them all the time but they're really handy to wear when you're doing your makeup so even though i'm obviously not at disney world and i'm not planning on going back for quite a while um you can wear them to kind of push your hair out of your face to do your makeup which i think is really lovely so they're independent girls that work on instagram and i just wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out because they do make some gorgeous little headbandy bits if you are planning on visiting when you can one of the Disneyland um, parks at some point in the future, in the future. But I just wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out because they're really fabulous. So next up, I'm going to go on to, let's do Forever 21, which I have not bought anything from them in a ages. I sometimes find some gorgeous bits, but I do struggle. But I did want to show you what I managed to grab because I'm so happy with what I picked up. The first thing I have is this little skirt. I got this in a medium just for reference. And it is a little white kind of like layered frill skirt. So girly, so cute. I am obsessed with this. I wore this whilst I was out in the States. I think it's going to be great if you want to wear it with a bikini. It's just a really summery, pretty piece. Has kind of all that like broadery on glaze detail to it. One of my fave pieces that I picked up on this trip. And to go with that, I actually picked up this top. Oh, again, I absolutely adore this. This is something I'll definitely wear over here in the UK with some high-waisted denim jeans. I think that would be lovely. So obviously it has this really nice dramatic puff sleeve, a little bow, the scrunch kind of bit across here. It's a square neckline. It's just so feminine and girly and pretty and... I totally love this. Again, for reference, I grabbed this in a medium. It has a little frill at the bottom. Yeah, I really, really do love those. Okay, and then lastly, I bought this dress. Now, you guys will see in the trial clips whether or not I managed to actually get this on. When we were in the States, we went into Forever 21, but the changing rooms are actually closed. So I didn't actually get to try this on, but I loved it so much that I just really wanted to pray that it would fit me. And like I said, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I will give it to my sister or I've got friends or someone that will be able to hopefully wear it because it's too beautiful to not be able to wear. I love this. It reminds me of the Lorna Lux in the style kind of collab. It obviously has these kind of like puff sleeves, a square neckline. It's this baby blue and white print and it goes down into this really cute little um, floral kind of hem. No, not floral. What do they call this? Oh my God. Yeah, this kind of sticky out bit at the bottom which i think is gorgeous the back is kind of open a little bit here oh i just really love this as sad as it is to say i think this would be really nice for graduation which i know a lot of people's graduations have sadly been cancelled or they're being kind of pushed back so even if your grad is pushed back or maybe we'll be in summer 2021 which i know seems like for it forever away but when you find a really nice dress for an event like that i do think it's worth keeping your eyes out for it and i feel like this would be really lovely for that or maybe um a wedding some point this year when there's a wedding i feel so silly saying when you could wear these things because obviously at the moment those are not the circumstances but i'm looking to the future i'm looking to six months time whenever it might be you know and we can go out and we can wear these really pretty things and i think this would be such a nice item to add to the wardrobe so next up i have a pair of sunnies that i actually bought from this little boutique store these retailed for 14 dollars, and i just thought they were so cute I honestly fell in love with them. Gave me kind of like, I don't know, 
very like 60s vibes i just really really like these i don't own a lot of sunglasses that have this kind of frame to it and i popped them on and the girl was like they're really cute she's like they're so cute and i was like oh okay i need to buy them she honestly made me she was like she was so sweet actually she was like you look like baby spice you look like baby spice and i was like thanks girl so yeah these are from by the way a boutique if anyone's wondering in the states if you live out there called francesca's and all of the stuff in there was absolutely gorgeous but it was a little bit spenny but it was so so lovely um and i totally fell for these then i have this dress which is from one of my favorite stores in um america it's called threads and it's based at disney springs and i honestly love that store um i actually know a girl that used to work in that store because i used to go in there and i kind of like every time i would go in there i'd talk to her and she ended up moving stores i had no idea and she moved to the irish pub at disney springs and me and misha walked into the irish pub and she came up to me and she was like hi and i was like oh my god which was really lovely so i love this store threads it's my absolute favorite they sell like other brands in the store they sell like levi denim and they sell um, a brand called cotton candy i've purchased things from them they sell free people so there's a mix of brands in there but it has like a really nice theme to it very relaxed very like kind of la i guess you could say beachy vibes oh, i just love it and i saw this dress and i think it is so cute so the reason i loved this was because of the shape mostly it's a very flattering cut on somebody like me it has a little bit of plunge neckline a really pretty kind of cap sort of sleeve and then it obviously kind of sticks out it's this white um design with this really pretty red kind of star detail to it yeah i just really loved this and it's a shop that i do really like their pieces are a little bit pricier but for me i love their stuff and half of their stuff i still have and i wear it year after year after year and then next up i have this top that i've already worn whilst i was in the states it is a super big and boxy top again it's the same design like the one that i showed you at the beginning the men's kind of polo style top this one is from puma but i actually got this in another store so i got it in like it was like a trainer store or something and this was in the sale and i got it for like maybe like 12 12 dollars or something and i just thought it was really cool so obviously it has this kind of like teal color to it the baby pink collar i put it on and i was like i feel like i work in a golf shop but i'm not mad about it like i think it's kind of cute um for reference i got this in an xl this is big enough to wear as a t-shirt dress but i still wear it with some denim shorts underneath just because it's a little bit sheer it's a little bit see-through with some like i wore it with my nike air forces um and just relaxed and easy and i love that when you're in the sun and you just don't want to think about your outfit you just want to wear and be comfortable and just your outfit isn't the most important part of the day is it you know you've got so many other things going on so i really did fall in love with this i think it's very very cute it's kind of like a creamy color as well which i feel like is a little bit different so that i got in the sale I did pick up some ralph lauren socks again i got these in the sale i buy these every time i go to the states um because i just think they look really cute kind of peeping out of trainers and stuff like that and the outlets they're a lot more affordable then from Calvin Klein I did get some underwear so I just got um it's from the outlet again but some like big kind of briefs um kind of like you know that time of the month and then I got some like maybe more attractive ones that I'll share with you guys like these kind of teal ones which I think are super cute um and then black and white so yeah very basic but what I did get from them which I really liked and I've actually worn um whilst I was out there are these cycling shorts that they did in the outlet so they came with a matching bralette which was very very cute but I knew I wasn't going to wear it as a set so I didn't bother what I really like about these cycle shorts is they're a little bit longer if you guys can see on the inner thigh and for someone like me i really appreciate that i have obviously like that's probably the larger part of my body and to have a little bit of extra length on cycling shorts in the inner thigh is so so much better for girls like me it comes up super high waisted it has this elasticated band i just really like them they have pockets on the side i personally would never wear them you know with a crop top or something it just doesn't flatter me and i just don't feel comfortable but to wear with one of those t-shirts that i showed you earlier have these underneath it's really really cute so i'm actually really into these i love the big band that they have around them they had so much stuff in there and if you're a boy they had so much underwear and then one of the last things yeah the last thing i think is these these are not for me these are for my sister but i did want to just share them with you guys quickly on here they are some adidas flared trousers very cool can't believe i managed to pick them up in the outlet i got them for 50 dollars, so they're high-waisted and then they have the stripe obviously going down the side but they're like a flare and i just know uni students will love these um and obviously my sister 
is was a uni student she obviously is no longer at university right now but you know she's in third year i'm gonna count it as a uni student um has the little adidas kind of logo going on and there's just again there's a lot in that outlet store if you are looking at buying anything and lastly i did pick up a little bit of a friend i couldn't resist i know i'm 24 but it was a nice little like memory of the trip and i just thought he was too cute to not let him come home with me so this is dumbo everyone and i love him so i think that's everything that i picked up i feel like i have forgotten a couple bits if i'm being perfectly honest but um i'm not sure where they are i'm still kind of unpacking and figuring things out as i'm sure you guys understand I'm sure you'll see everything that I haven't mentioned posted on Instagram at some point and all of these styled up on my Instagram as well. I will do my best, like I said, to link anything below. I know right now is probably not a time when you are purchasing clothes, but I thought this is a little bit of kind of a light relief from everyday life and just something to kind of zen out to. So hopefully you guys liked everything that I chose and hopefully I'll be able to wear it all one day somewhere. Because right now I can wear it in the garden, but you know, fashion show in the garden it works thank you all so so much for watching i hope you're all doing well sending so much love light and positivity to all of you guys that watch my videos thank you so much for taking time out of your day don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed check me out on instagram and stay tuned because i'm gonna have so much blimmin content coming your way because i can't socialize with my mates and i can't go out and i can't go out for a drink on a saturday night so i will be working i'll be being productive let's hope um love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one bye guys